Hey, what is going on, everyone? This is Eddie Harvey from TradeWithEd.com. So I'm here with a how to use swipe trades uh, video. I did one man over a year ago. I haven't did one in a while, but wanted to uh, do another one. I've been trying to make this video the past uh, the past couple of times I made it. I did it straight from my phone with my screen recorder, but the volume wasn't recording, so I got it here on my computer. Uh, I got my phone mirroring here as well, so uh, hopefully you guys can see uh, my little cursor here pointing. But I'm pointing to the Swipe Trades app, and I'm going to click on that and just show you guys how simple Swipe Trades is to use. Cool thing is, maybe it was meant for me to wait because Swipe Trades just made some cool updates. Uh, excited to share those and to show you some of the features it has. So if you look here, guys, uh, this trade, a uh, new trade idea an hour ago, I entered into this one. But I'm just going to show you guys how it worked. Now, if you click on the check mark here, down here, it opens up. And if you can see here, it gives you the symbol or what type of trade it is. Uh, this is the Euro CAD, which is I mean Euro dollar versus the Canadian dollar. It gives you the time frame. This is taken on the H4 time frame. What type of trade type, order type? It was a buy stop. Uh, you also have a uh, buy limit, sell limit, sell stop, and market entry. Uh, you can learn about those later, but this is a buy stop. Uh, entry price here. If it was a second entry price, it would have given it to you here. Trade size, it breaks down uh, the risk. 0.02 lots is 1% risk per 1,000 balance and trade in account. Okay, uh, you get your stop loss, and then it gives you three different take profit points. Uh, take profit one, two, three. Uh, the status of this trade, this time is pending, meaning it, uh, I believe it hasn't hasn't hit um, the entry entry point yet. And I can look and see where it's at. Uh, and if you come down here, you get notes or uh, comments. Eurocab buy stop idea entry at 1.51500. Risk on trade is 50 pips at 1.51000. A, a 0 0.02 position size is a 1% risk on a one on $1,000 account balance. This means 1% risk is entering one position at 0 0.02 on trade. Follow risk management. Here's a tip: enter two positions. Position one. 0 0.02 lot size, position two, 0.02 lot size. Set position one would take profit one, pop a smirk. Now, let me break down really quickly what this means, and this is some of the cool things you will learn inside of IML Academy. Uh, this is called twin trading, guys. The tip he gave right here is, is called twin trading, where you enter two positions, and you can enter one at 0.02 and let that one go, and if it hits take profit one, Boom, that one's out, but you're still in on the second one and letting it ride out to take profit two or take profit three. So it's like uh, you're twin trading. You, you you took profit on one trade and then you got another trade that you still got in there going to hit a longer uh, take profit position. All right, so and then it gives you the disclaimer here. Uh, let me move this. I don't know if you guys can see this on my screen or not. Okay. It gives a disclaimer here about this trade is for educational purposes and by no means requires mandatory action. Any trade should be taken at a risk of the individual. Any recommendations made are by the bias of the master and simply an opinion. Trading does involve risk. Proper risk management is important. When trading, we recommend demo account for practice. All right, and this was given by the master trader, Papa Smurf. Cool. So now let me show you some cool things here, guys. And the way you enter into this trade, let me show you how to do it. So. And I'll show you the new things Swipe Trades has in a second. But I'm going to go back here to my screen. As you can see, I have MetaTrader 4, which is right here where you have to enter the trade in. I'm going to click on MetaTrader 4. And that was EuroCAD. So where's EuroCAD at? You know what? I'm going to do this in demo. In demo, in demo, demo. Now my live account. Let's go demo. All right, EuroCAD. So. The way I will enter that, because I already got a position entered, uh, EuroCAD, you would go to right here. You get options. You have trade, chart, and details. Okay. So once you, you just click the, the pair you want, which is EuroCAD right there, I click that. Then you come here and hit trade. Now I'm going to go to what type of trade it is. It is a market. It wasn't a market execution. It was a buy stop, I believe. So let me go back over here and look at swipe trades. Uh, let me hit refresh. Okay, hit that. 
it was a buy stop okay so now this little notepad looking thing here I'm gonna click on that and now I just copied the entry price so all I'm gonna do is go back over here to MT4 come over here up into price where I just clicked in the price right there now I'm gonna hit my back button right here which is gonna clear that out and now I'm gonna tap that area and paste it in there's my price right so as you can see here the current price is 1.15113 so it hasn't made it up to 51500 yet so it's still pending and this is a buy stop so this means it's going long it's going in a bullish position meaning it's got to go up to hit this number in order for the trade to activate all right now i'm going to enter into my stop loss so i'm going to go stop loss go back to my swipe trade screen scroll down same thing bam hit stop loss data su successfully copied come back over clear that stop loss out paste my stop loss in hit the area for take profit i'm going to come back over here to take profit and i'm going to enter let's just say i'll enter take profit one all right i'm going to go on the suggestion of the master trader so now i'm going to come over here clear this out tap it paste it now before i hit place i got to make sure i got the proper lot size okay so if i want to go 0.02 like he said i have 0.01 here the way you change your lot size is that you tap right in that area and then you can change to whatever number you want i change it to 0.02 then i hit place and now if i want the twin trade like he did i would just enter that same thing again and that would be me doing a twin trade okay so it's as simple as that all right so that is how you enter a swipe trade and then once it activates it'll start going as you can see i have a trade going here uh and this is in uh in my demo account i have a trade going here and once it hits it activates and the trade will start moving right away Okay, so now that is a buy stop. Now, if you get a trade from Swipe Trades and it says market execution, all you're doing up here to type, that means enter the market right now. So it's not gonna, you'll see buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, or sell stop, or you'll see market execution. And you click market execution, just showing you guys, it was 0.02, you wanna get into that trade right now. So all I would do is I would, boom, I would hit buy right now boom now I entered in that trade well you say well what about your stop loss and take profit all i would do from that point is just come back i would open this this area right here and now this time i don't tap it i'm going to hold it so when you tap it it just opens it up to show you what's going on so i'm just going to hold on it for a second and now it pulls up this screen now here's your modified screen this is a few things you can do so if i want to modify this trade let's say you know i was in profit whatever and i wanted to take secure half my take a what's called a partial profit and then let the other half keep going well i enter 0.02 lots i can change this and the way i do to do modify then i'm going to come here and i'm going to uh excuse me swipe oh, that ain't what I, that ain't the right way to do it how did i do this here okay let me go back so i'm going to hit modify and modify i can um change my take profit change my stop loss do all of that but let's say if i wanted to enter let's say i want to enter a what's called a partial take partial profit on this let's say if this trade was in profit and i wanted to enter partial profit on this all i would do is swipe left on here see i swipe left on this trade and it opened up a screen here and i have a, a check mark a pencil for editing a plus and then the other one shows the chart so what you're going to hit is the uh the check mark with the circle so if i wanted to close this out with let's say 20 cent loss or whatever if it was in profit all i would do i would go up here and now i would change this because you can only take half or if i would that's all i could take half is i have 0.02 but let's say if i had like 0.05 i could close out with 0.02 and still be leave 0.03 in if that makes sense so I can only take 0.01 because I can't go any lower than 0.01, right? So if I want to change this to 0.01, I will simply hit that right there. And then now it's going to say close with 11 cent loss. So it closed out 
and then you'll go here and it'll see history. You can see I lost 11 cent on that trade, but I'm still in that trade because I kept 0.01 of it going. All right, hope that makes sense, okay? So that is how you will modify a trade as far as if you want to take a partial profit, but if you want to change your stop loss and all of that, you hold the screen down, then hit modify, and then you can come in here and mess with your take profit and change that and change your stop loss. Uh, you know, like if I want to change it to the numbers I was given, so if I want to change this to go back to swipe, use take profit three, hit OK, come back over here, erase that out. Boom, put take profit three in. And then whatever the stop loss was they gave me, which is that, come back, hit that, come back in, come up here, clear that out. Oh, I don't know what I want to do. Ah, what am I doing? Moving too fast. Modify. Okay, now I gotta do this again. There's a the stop loss. Now I'm gonna put the take profit in. Come back over here. Take profit three. Okay. Boom. Come back. Clear that out. Take profit three. Now I hit modify. Now, let me show you something else, guys. If you try to make some changes or try to enter a trade and this stayed gray, that means something was off. Either means that you're entered into the wrong type of trade. Maybe you're entered into a buy limit instead of a buy stop. So let me give you an example. I'll do it again really quickly. I'm going to enter into EuroCAD, and now I'm going to enter it as a, let's say, let's say a sale limit, right? And I got 0.02, and now I'm trying to enter into the numbers they gave me. So let me go over here, and let me hit the entry price, come back over here, and hit, know why that's, that showed, okay. So let's just say it's not going to go because I got it as a sale limit and I got that as my entry price. Well, you can't do that because the sale is going down and this price is higher than the price given. The current price is 51.11 and the price here is 51.500. So 51.11, 51.50, let's say that 51.11, 51.50, that's higher. A sale is going down, so that's not gonna work. I will have to enter it as a buy limit or a buy, excuse me, and then it would be okay to work. So if you ever see it and you put all your numbers in and something uh, is gray, like this, the place area is gray, that means one of your numbers is off or a different type of trade you have is off and it won't let you enter it, all right? So last but not least, guys, let me go over here, back to Swipe Trades. They've made some updates and I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, one of the new updates, which I just noticed, uh, let me go back here, is where it says pending. Okay, status pending. I don't remember seeing that before, so that's one of the new things. So it lets you know what's going on with the trade, and I'm sure it'll update when it says it's active. So, like this one, C C H F J P Y was listed as active. So, you come in, an update was they showed you uh, this trade idea was now active. Okay, so that's a cool feature. Now, also, if you come here, you have a search feature where you can this is pretty cool. It shows the pending trades, the active trades, the inactive trades. This is all new. It shows you by symbol, it shows you by the master trader, it shows you the time it was uh, taken, and it shows you the status of that trade. So if you want to select a pair, and let's just say you want to select, pick a pair here. These are all the trades you want to select, uh, USD JPY, and you want to select whoever the master was. Let's just go with uh, Wealthy Pips. Uh, let's go, we can even go two days ago. Let's go a week ago, if he gave one in the show. And we'll just show, because uh, it won't be active, we'll go inactive. And it'll pull it up if he did one. Let's say search. No trades available because he didn't do that. Okay, but it's showing you right here if I wanted to, you know, find a specific trade. Like, man, what happened with that trade that whatever that trade had entered in, uh, if you have the details on it, you can go back and see all of that. But it shows you right here, this is pretty awesome, though. It shows you all of the latest trades that was taken all the way from you know May 24th up until today, May 28th, showing you if it's active, if it's pending, who the master trader was, and uh, what type of trade it was, okay? So this is a, a cool feature they have here. In addition to, uh, let me see, email subscription. So my email subscription is active, okay? Uh, 
FAQs. You have your FAQ section here. You can check that out. And then they give you some videos, guys, showing you different type of videos, uh, covering the new swipe trades updates, how to how to uh, thrive in swipe trades, swipe trades training, swipe trades understanding, swipe trades order types. It's all right here to where you don't have to go back to the main iMarkers Live page to check it out. If you want to get some different things about swipe trades, it's right there for you. So cool new features, uh, as well as that's how you enter a swipe trade, guys. So hope you all receive some value from this video. Uh, swipe trades is a phenomenal product. Uh, results do vary for everybody. But uh, if you want to put yourself in position to be able to copy and paste and potentially earn uh, winning trades, guys, swipe trades is a phenomenal product. Uh, if you're you know, a newbie to trading or a busy person on the go and don't have a lot of time to chart or anything like that, it is a great, uh, a great tool to utilize. All right. So I hope you all got some value from this video, guys. Hey, listen, two things. Number one, I have a private group over on Facebook. If you want to get more of an inside under the hood, look at IML, uh, where I share some more uh, information that you may not see here in my videos, guys, kind of a behind the scenes under the hood look. Something go to fb.tradewithed.com. Uh, and you can get access to my group. But other than that, guys, if you want to see how IML works, uh, how Swipe Trades, along with other products, work, who IML is, what they do, what they have their hands on, and how you get a, how you can get a piece of it, you want to see that right now. Simply go to tradewithed.com. Any questions? My contact information is in the description box. Also, guys, you can hit me up via email, via phone. I do pick up my phone, I do answer texts, and I do respond to emails. So, with that being said, I hope you all got some value from this video. Take care and have a great day.